Alright, in this video, we will learn how to find the expectation and the variance of a discrete random variable. Alright, so expectation, or we denote it as EX. So EX is the expectation, or sometimes we call it expected value. Okay, expected value of a discrete random variable X, or sometimes we call it expected value of X to denote the EX. Okay, what is expectant expectation or the expected value? Okay, this is a mean. Okay, the mean for the discrete random variable that we we do the uh, the random process. Okay, the random distribution, or sometimes we denote it as a mu. Okay, so if the question asks you to find the mean or the expected value, so that's mean you want you to find the the expected value or e x. Alright, so the formula for EX, so mu or EX or the expected value of X is equals to the summation of X times its respective probability. Okay, okay so for example, if we have this probability distribution function, when X equals to 0, the probability is 0 0.2, when X equals to 1, probability is 0 0.2 and so on. So let's say we want to find and the expected value for this uh, probability distribution function. Let's me want to find e x. So to find e x, we know the formula is the summation of x times the probability of x equals to x. That's mean we need to multiply okay the corresponding x with its corresponding probability. All right. So for the first one, we have zero. So zero. Okay. And then multiply with its probability, which is 0 0.2. So 0 times 0 0.2 plus, and then we take 1, and then multiply with its probability, which is 0 0.2, plus 2 times 0 0.2, plus 3 times 0 0.2, plus 4 times 0 0.2. So if we calculate this, we get the answer is 2. So the expectation or the expected value of x for this uh, probability distribution function is 2. That means if we do the random process or the random experiment here, so the, the mean of the result of x, the result that we're going to get is 2. Okay, so that is mean. Alright, so that is for the expected value. And we also can find uh, expected value for any function of gx, not only uh, expected value of x, we also can find the expected value for any function of x. Uh, so the formula is, is just the summation of gx times its corresponding probability. Right, so for example, let's say gx is x squared. So that's me want to find the expected value of x square so this is just the summation of x square times probability of x equals to x or the corresponding probability all right so for example if you want to find the expected value of 3x plus 2 so that's mean okay the formula is the summation of okay 3x plus 2 times its probability so, it can be anything expected of any function of x. So, it's just the summation of that function multiplied with its corresponding uh, probability of x. Alright. So, we're going to need this formula here. Okay, because this formula is important. So, we have first and this one. Okay, we have equation here, the formula here. And formula here is important because we need to use these two formula to find the variance. Okay, so the variance of a discrete random variable x, the formula is e x square minus e x square. Okay, so e x square is what we get here, which is the summation of x squared times the probability of x, and e x is the expected value of x okay all right so we're going to see some example after this so i just explain first what it is and sometimes variant of x we also denote it as a sigma squared okay it uh, really similar with chapter 6 the data description for the variance is a sigma squared and also we can find the standard deviation 
So standard deviation we know is just a square root of the variance. So we just take the square root of the variance. If we get the variance to, to find the standard deviation, we just take the square root of the variance. Alright, so now we're going to discuss about the properties of expected value and variance. Alright, so the first properties is if we want to find the expected value of a constant, okay, this is just the constant itself. Alright, so for example, let's say you want to find the expected value of 3. So we know that expected value of constant is just the constant itself, so this is equals to 3. Okay. Alright, so second properties is if you want to find the expected value of a times x. That's mean a constant multiplied with x. This is equivalent to a e x. Okay, it's like we bring out the the constant a outside the expected value. Alright, so for example, uh, let's say you want to find the expected value of expected value of 2x so this is equivalent to 2 times ex so that's mean if we know the value for ex so to find e2x is just 2 times the ex all right so the third properties is if you want to find the expected value of ax plus b okay a linear so this is equals to or uh, this is equivalent to a times ex plus b okay so for example if you want to find the expected value of 2x plus 3 so this is equivalent to 2 times ex plus 3 or for example you want to find the expected value of uh, negative 3x plus 1 so this is equivalent to negative 3 ex plus 1 okay so we're going to discuss uh, an example about this later right so that is three uh, properties for the expected value and we also have the properties for the variance right so for the variance okay the variance of a constant a is 0 so variance of any constant is 0 so, for example, if you want to find the variance of constant, let's say, 5. So, this is equals to 0. Right, so, property number 5, variance of a times x. This is equivalent to a squared times variance of x. Right, so, we can see the difference between expected value, the properties for expected value, and the properties for the variance, where for expected value, when we have a times x, so we just bring out a, but for the variance, when we bring out a, a must be uh, be squared, okay? So we must square the value, the constant a, alright? So you must remember that, right? So for example, let's say you want to find the variance for 3x. So this is equals to 3 squared times variance of x, or this is equals to 9 variance x, Right, and the last properties is a variance of a linear ax plus b, and this is equals to or this is equivalent to a squared time variance of x. So, for example, okay, uh, there are no plus b here, okay, not not the same with the expected value because for expected value when we have a linear, okay, we bring out a, okay, a becomes squared and has a plus b at the back here but for the variance there are no constant b at the back here okay all right so for example let's say you want to find the variance of uh, 2x minus 3 so this is equals to 2 squared times variance of x or this is equals to 4 variance x or maybe another one example so variance of let's say negative 3x plus 9 Okay, so this is equals to negative 3. And we need to square negative 3. So the whole negative 3 must be squared. Okay, times variance of x. Okay, no plus 9 at the back. So this is equals to 9 variance of x. Because negative, when we square, it becomes positive. 
right? So we have these six properties for the expect three properties for the expected value and three properties for the variance. So we will discuss about these properties in in example later.